these hunting contests, these varmint contests, which have gotten really, really, really mm-hmm. popular, mm-hmm. do you think they're ducking any, anything on the population much? I mean, I know no, they are because no, they're killing some. No, but hell no, they're not hurting anything. In fact, in fact, they're alienating. They're giving they're giving uh, fuel to the anti hunters. Mm-hmm. There's a big. I don't know if you heard about, it, but there's a big uh, video out. It's gone national uh, the last few days, and it is very negative. And it's on the contest. Yes, it's very negative. And I had one guy come on my Facebook <clears throat> because I'd made a comment on Instagram, I believe. And I told him, I said, guys, you know, you we got to stick together on this stuff. I said that's a visual that's not good. Mm-hmm. Uh, killing contests are not good. I'm sorry. Period. They're not good. This is not a time for that. Maybe 40 years ago, but not anymore. And uh, this guy goes, oh, you're a hypocrite. You know, you kill more coyotes than anybody in the country. And, you know, you're against coyote hunting. I'm not against coyote hunting. You know, I don't mind. If somebody wants to go out and try their 22 250 out and call it, find Danny. But killing contests are bad visuals mm-hmm. and ammunition for anti hunters. And it's going to get rough. Well, it, just watch and see. We're in the minority anymore. Absolutely, and we don't need to advertise to people who are on the fence. Right. And there's a lot of people on the fence. I, I don't put any kill pictures out, none. In fact, I don't kill hardly any coyotes anymore. Just a few, just to keep my journals. And I and I and I did a, I came on the Facebook like a couple of days ago, and I said, okay, look, hey, this guy came up and he criticized me. In fact, he uh, Ken Zoller out of uh, Midland came on there and said, look, he, he why am I not criticizing you? What the hell are you doing? And so he took all his stuff down. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who he is. Don't care. But I came on there and I and I told him. I, I said, okay, let, let's. This is going to be pretty redundant. But here's my history. Boom. Yeah, I went through all that stuff. I he, I have killed a lot of coyotes. <laughs> to be exact, one thousand eight hundred and nine with a rifle alone. Wow. And uh, but I said I don't do it much anymore because I appreciate the animal. I said I started out doing it as a kid. What most kids do, they just want to hunt and kill something. Mm-hmm. And then I went into it in the research because I wanted to learn more about their feeding habits. And I killed to get samples for my, my data. And uh, then I went into it after I got out of college as a profession. I needed it to pay my bills. I wanted to get out of school. I wanted to live a, a totally free life. I wanted to live what my heart was speaking. And, and I did that. And then I went through a period of just keeping my notes alive, but I still shot a lot. And now I'm down to, I might kill 10 or 15 a winter just to keep my notes going because I don't want my notes to die. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I feel bad about that. You know. Because I've killed enough. I've done enough of that stuff. The the contest, I don't have a problem with what the guys are doing. And I, and I, come, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. The optics. It's the same as with the waterfowl hunting videos. Yeah, that shows a big rain outs of geese, mm-hmm. big rain outs. All you're doing is taking that person that might come hunting one day, mm-hmm. that's on the fence. You're you're, you're pushing some of them off. That's right. And as hunters, yeah. we do need to stick together. We do. And you know, uh, I don't know what the answer is, but we 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 have to try to pull in some of the fence sitters Absolutely. and get them on our side. Absolutely. And, and, and it's the same with uh, people that uh, a guy in an outfitter, I just read the other, yesterday in South Dakota, had screwed a bunch of guys. I've never been snow goose hunting, late snow goose hunting. This guy screws them over. Don't show up. Don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. These guys never goose hunting. That. Now, do you think they're ever going to go back again? They just got fucked out of thousands mm-hmm. of dollars a piece. Yeah. They're never going to go. Yeah. We have to do something to make – Hunt the non-hunter or the fence jumpers do it, and I could see where that uh, when you put it that way, like a killing contest. That's right. That is that is really a a different way to it's bad to, optics, it, it, well, bad visuals. They think it's just a bunch of bubbas. Is it, what and they exactly, think it is. and it's almost like, I mean, I, they've got these damn calling videos where everybody's high fiving with a gut shot coyote running off. I mean, right. that's just like give me a break. Yeah. I mean, I I'm seventy years old. And I've seen a lot of blood. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's distasteful to me. Yeah, you know, it's, and, it, and of course, age is going to do things to you. I'm so there with age, you, anyways. Age is going to do things. I, to I don't you. care if I kill anything anymore. Yeah, that's me. And and when I when I take a photograph of a coyote, it's like I said, told someone, I said, look at those eyes. Yeah, 
you know, that, that, th- those eyes, that's intelligence. That's wild intelligence. It's like a, a wild human being. That's the way the Indians were, you know, 12,000 years ago. They were wild animals. They have feelings too. You know, yeah, they're going to kill, and, and it's a savage mm-hmm. land. They, they don't care how their prey dies. Uh, yeah, they're going to eat uh, calf's tails off. They're going to kill an occasional calf. I do not because I have studied a lot of, I've dug out a lot of coyote stomachs in cattle country, and they do not kill calves mm-hmm. like some mm-hmm. people like to say they do. Not at all. Uh, they kill Very chickens. Rare. It's, it's pretty, pretty rare for them. And if they do, it's like one or two animals, and that's it. This and picture so, right here of yours is I, I just. Oh, yeah, that was just the other day. Well, they're, they're, a cow's too big a prey for a coyote. Oh, they don't. But no, just look at, he's looking at you like, I see you over there, you son exactly. of a bitch. I know. I and got I, you. I love that picture. I, lo- I love the animal. And there would have been a time when all I could think about was putting a bullet through his chest. Right. Between his eyes. But now I look through those, those eyes and I'm going, you know what? That's a living creature. He's a predator. He's got a place. And, and everybody is successful. I got my picture and he got to live. Yeah. And everything is gonna, cool. That's just the way I view things today. Now, I will, I will uh, continue occasionally. I'll shoot a coyote to put in my journal put that blood spot, put the date, and someday, 20 years, 50 years, somebody can take that journal and go, there's that blood spot, I'm going to take a DNA. Were the, are the coyotes 50 years from now the same as they were 50 years ago? Um, what are you going to do with your journals? Are you donating them? What are you I doing with them? I don't know yet. Your sons want them. I don't know yet. you got a grandson or a son that's going oh, to yeah. want them. I mean, that's, they might be fighting over them one day. <laughs> could be. Uh, you hope so, right? I hope. That's why yeah. you did this. Yeah. Um, they're very. I, I, I talked to one day. I was at a TWA meeting, and the leading expert on ocelots was there at my table. And I was telling him about uh, taking buttonhead. And they said, well, "Man," they said, "That is some incredible information." He said, "I would like to look at your journal someday, and perhaps take a DNA sample from all the bobcats and compare them with the cats that I've, and see if there's any difference, any changes have been." have occurred over the years it's pretty interesting yeah. um but the, what i originally had done was someone was was saying well those contests all they're doing is depleting the resources they're not hurting the population of the cows no. anymore, are they? And, and let me tell you this is something about the contest and i and i've seen it happen I've, I've, they've showed me what happened okay i've killed 881 bobcats weighed nearly all of them the only cat that went over 30 pounds had been eating my brother's chickens for three or four weeks the only cat. He weighed 31 and a half pounds. All the rest of them weighed 28 pounds or less. That's 881 bobcats. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you're getting 35 and 40 pound cats. 43 pounds was the one Give that won this year. Give me a break. Did you see the one cat I that won? I saw that. <laughs> Give me a break. He just swelled up more it. than I am. I ain't buying it. Where there's money, yeah. there's going to be a fix. Someone's feeding that cat. They're feeding them. That that cat, I've never seen a fat cat in the wild. I guarantee. You, I, they, it, nobody killed it except for old government trappers. I've killed as many cats as anybody in the country. A lot of them, st- most of them steal traps. But I weighed them all and took all this information on them. And you can't tell me that there's that many 30 and 40 pound cats out there. Right. I'm sorry. The, uh, yeah, that 43 pound cat was laid next to a regular cat. And look like some bitch been eating Krispy Kreme donuts every morning. <laughs> I mean, I was like, what? So what do you think they? Cat? You think they trapped it and then just? Uh, fed I don't know it? what no, they no, can no, feed them to they, get them that they, fat. What they do is they'll put a game camera up and they'll find where cats running, oh, okay. and they'll put dead geese, right, right, dead, right, right, dead right. ducks, and they'll find out what time he's coming. Mm-hmm. They know exactly all of his movements, and then right. at, then whenever he gets big enough, they go in there and. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. What are they going to feed him to get him that fat though? Ducks and geese. Carcass. That'll Carcasses. make you, that'll Carcasses. make a, goose, a, a bobcat get that fat. Oh yeah, I've chickens never s- do. Well, I mean, they uh-huh. just they just fatten but, but, them up. Yeah, but that's twelve more pounds. That's twenty five percent bigger body weight than the one you killed at your brother's. It's oh. got to be. I mean, I just don't know what they can do to an, a cat to fatten them up like that. Oh, yeah. Wonder if they uh, surely they check for like lead and all that stuff. No, this cat it, was obese. Yeah. <laughs> this cat wasn't like a big, like an oversized cat. This son of a bitch looked like he's a fat cat. He was obese. Yeah, I mean, looked like a fat cat you'd see at grandma's house that eats yeah. that she feeds ice cream to I, every night. Yeah. See, I wonder though. Like, I wonder if it was like a, a pet almost. I wonder if they yeah. clipped him. I don't know. Neutered him almost because because you hear about that with it, like chickens. It's just a theory of mine, but I but from 
my notes, I can deduce that something ain't right. right. No, it's not. And everybody in that contest something thought that something right. was wrong. When Garfield, the bobcat, comes up. <laughs> I mean, it was that fat. He walked up. He didn't oh, even run to oh, the call. I, no, you know, he was him, winded. And they call him, you know, call, call and contest. Hell, you know, my six-year-old granddaughter can can turn on, can reach over and click on a the computer button. quicker than I can. Yeah. And all it is is going over, and you're setting up in an overhead thing with sandbags where your rifle's at rest, and it, it's at night, and you reach over and turn on an electronic call. Hey, you're not calling. You're, you're not showing... You're not showing your expertise in calling. Mm-hmm. You're going on a ranch where they're where uh, and a rancher is not is not shooting any coyotes, and these coyotes gravitate to feeding grounds, and you've got ten or fifteen coyotes at a feeding ground, and then all of a sudden that night comes and these guys go out there and they drive up to a feeding ground and just eh, turn the light on and there's all these coyotes and poop, 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 <coughs> yeah. suppressors and uh, What's what's uh, where's the where's the skill? Yeah, I know the, the where's the skill. Clay and them, their contest Archer City is during the day only. Yeah, and it's shotgun only and it's hand uh, calls. That's 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 more like it. That's daytime only. That's more like it. And hand calls and uh, I won't tell you where I was, but Friday morning I called up thirty cows in four hours. Whew. Just taking pictures. Whew.